In this video, we will calculate measures of central tendency, standard deviation, variance, and calculate some of the values from the five number summary. So here's our data set that we're going to use. And here I've already provided the answers that we should receive. So there are many different ways to calculate some of these values. And I'll just show you one or two of them. So the first thing we need to do is actually enter our data. So we want to use our stat button. So under stat you have three different menus. You have an edit menu, your calculate menu, and your test menu. And the first place you want to go is under edit. So we have L1 which stands for list 1. So our particular data set, we want to enter all of these values into our first list. So this is the first element that we're going to type in. And you just press enter in order to enter in the next element. So you always want to make it a habit to go back and check your values to make sure you have the correct number. So in our list one, we have nine objects. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our data set is in list one. So the easiest way to find a majority of this information, we want to go back under stat again. Now we want to go under the calculate menu so we just use our right arrow key in order to go to the next column and what we want is one var stat so one variable stats we have one variable we have just one list of data so we press enter and the calculator automatically assumes that your data is in L1 so you don't have to physically type that in if your data was in another list right above your numbers at the bottom is how you can indicate what list you used and since it's in blue you have to use the second button in order to access that but our data is already in L1 so we're fine we can just press enter so here we have X bar this is the mean of our data set so it's the same thing we have here X bar 7.5 repeated that's what the horizontal bar over the 5 means and this is just our standard notation for our mean. Here we have the sum of x. So if we added all of these data values up together, it equals 68. Here we have the sum of x squared. Here, s of x, that is our sample standard deviation. That's what that notation stands for. And we just rounded it to the hundredth place. Next, what you have is the notation for your population standard deviation. So we rounded that to 2.36. N is equal to 9. That's how many elements you have in your data set. And the arrow here symbolizes that you can press your arrow key down in order to find more information. So from our five number summary, here's Q1, 5.5. There's our median that we have. Our median is 7. We have Q3 is 9.5. Our minimum of our data set is 4. Our maximum of our data set is 12. So that's our five number summary. And that's all that's provided here. So we have our mean that we found, our median, our sample standard deviation, our population standard deviation, our minimum, and our maximum. So now in order to find the mode, the sample variance, and the population variance, we have to do a little manipulation. So let's go with the easiest one first, the variance. What we want to go is under the list menu. So list is right above stat since it's in blue. We press second and the stat button. 
Here we have the names of our list. You have OPS, which are operations, and then you have math. So under math, this is another way you can find each of these individual values. So if you just wanted the minimum and nothing else, you can just come here or your maximum or your mean or your median. Here, if you look at option number seven, you have standard deviation. Once again, you see the arrow letting you know you can scroll down. And right below that, what we have is the variance. So variance, and you want to tell it the variance of what? You want the variance of your first list. So here's how we access L1. Since it's in blue, we press second and one. We press enter. So our result is 6.27 repeated. So we can round that to 6.28. So that gives us our sample variance. So in order to find our population variance, one thing we could do is just take the population standard deviation that we have, the 2.36, and we can just square that value. So we have our 5.5696. Then in order to find our mode, they don't have a specific function to find your mode. So what we could do is to go back under list. And once again, since it's in blue, we press second and the stat button. Go under ops. And what we can do is to sort our list. So we want to sort, we want to tell them what do we want to sort. Once again, our information is in L1. Now when we want to go back and look at our actual list, that's under just the stat menu. And as you can see, we have the same option here. So multiple ways in order to receive all this information. Our data is now sorted. So you just have to look through the data to see which one occurs the most often. So you have one four, we have one five, we have one six, we have two sevens, one eight, one nine, and then you scroll down. And there's our 10 and our 12. And of course you could have just looked at the data set and saw that as well.